I'm back in Fukuoka, but I'm not doing another wander video. In fact, I'm not doing another wander video until I get better shoes. That'll teach me to buy shoes off the internet. They pinch. Now, I'm going down to the offices of Fukuoka Now. Fukuoka Now is a free information magazine for foreigners living in Fukuoka. It used to be just in English, I think, but now there's a lot of information also in Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. And I'm trying to find the place. I've never been there. I got a chance for a little uh, over the holidays extra bit of work that'll get me a little bit of Christmas bonus, I think. I gotta go see if I fit the Santa suit first. Found it. Actually, I walked right past it first time. Actually, I think I was still talking to the camera as I walked right past it. Which is okay, because I ended up walking past a building where there was a photo session going on, and there's some cute models. Walking too far was not a waste. I didn't want to walk too far, though, because I got my boots on, and I haven't worn them for years. I said I should wear my black boots for Santa, so I polished them up last night, put them on this morning, and I'm not breaking the boots, and I'm breaking my feet in. <laughs> boots are fine. Now, let's see if I can be Santa. That was cool. I'm early, so I have to wait. That's okay though. And they gave me a full cooking now to read, so that's good. Plus I've also got my book to reread. The people bringing the Santa suit are late. Oh well. I'm a yellow Santa. Okay. <laughs> ho, 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 ho! I've never seen a yellow Santa before. <laughs> <laughs> All done. Bye bye Fukuoka now. Now we'll just have to wait and see if I get chosen. Don't really have any other plans for Fukuoka today, so I guess I'm just gonna go home. And not surprisingly, just 20 meters away from Fukuoka now is a huge temple. I would actually really like to know if you added up all of the land that temples and shrines in Japan are on, just how much land area they cover. What square meterage? I wonder some weird stuff sometimes. Nice looking building though. I like the detail under the roof. Oh, that's the roof on their temple bell. I'd love to hear that sucker ring. I have to quick look through it. It looks too beautiful not to look. The gate is just huge. Temple guardian there on one side and another one there. And I just spent about five minutes talking to a German tourist. I wonder if he thought I was a tourist because I'm carrying a camera around. Somebody spent a lot of time raking up all that. This is what I had to come in and see, this bell. You know, I didn't intend for this to become a wandering video. <laughs> I don't think my feet are gonna stand up to it in the boots. I don't know why, but I love bells. So, I mean, this is just cool. I wanna ring it. Beautiful pictures in there. I wanna ring it. Do you think they'd get angry? I think they'd get really pissed if I rang it. Oh, it's locked. I can't ring it. Oh well. I love the place you hit it even. Beautiful. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I really want to look under the bell. I want to look inside the bell. And there's no one around except for some cats. Oh god, I'm in the bell. If anyone rang this right now, I would be so deaf. There's something written here. I think it was the year it was cast. 29 something. 34 or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love the sound in here. I'm obviously not the only person to come in here either because there's handprints all over the place. <laughs> That's cool. Temple cats? I guess. Very tame. Sometimes the little structures off to the side are even more interesting than the big structures. Looks like a tree with a fierce determination to live despite what's happening at its base. So you got the bell there, the gate there, some building there, the main temple here I think, and back there might be the home of the monk or whoever runs the temple, I don't know. So we're not going in there. You know, I really gotta start finding other things than just shrines and temples or these wanderers are gonna get monotonous. Not that this was supposed to be a wandering video. Other than this, it probably won't be. I'm just gonna go home, I think, and uh, well, maybe go pick up some stuff before I go home. I don't know. Another thing you can find around Fukuoka more often now is graffiti. Before, you almost never used to see graffiti around anywhere. It could only be found in the most hard to reach places under train bridges and whatnot. But I heard that it was after a couple bodybuilding magazines or maybe it was biking magazines did a piece on graffiti. Everyone suddenly thought, wow, what a great idea. And it just exploded all over the place. They paint on walls, doors, poles, signs, even vending machines. But they do seem to be slightly selective because with this one wall painting here at least was left untouched. Well this restaurant has been totally plastered. I'm not sure if that restaurant's still in business though. Even still, come on. But that is mostly on the back smaller streets. On the bigger, wider, more used streets, you don't find much graffiti at all. I'd rather not find any graffiti at all anywhere anyway. It doesn't look good. It's not impressive. It's like a wolf pissing the Marcus territory. I just had Subway for lunch. That makes me happy. Now we're going down into the Tenjin Underground Mall which you've seen before. I'm just going to a really nice bread store they have down here to get some chocolate bread for Lilia and some other bread we've had before that my wife really likes and I'm trying really hard to remember what kind it was. 
And there's lots of lights down here. Just past the bread store, wrong one. So I guess that's really all for today. If you like all the flashing lights above, click the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Mark Visser, aka Sparkus. I hope to see you back here for another I Live in Japan very soon.